Hi there, welcome to another episode of Find That Density. Today we are going to find the density of an irregular object, something that you cannot use length times width times height or some other formula for uh, because it's a strange shape. Uh, but we can use the water displacement method. And actually we're going to find the uh, volume of about a million irregular objects, namely a bunch of pieces of sand here. We're going to find the the density of this sand. And to start off, <clears throat> we need to get the mass. And I'm doing the mass first today because once you put it in water, it's getting wet. Water is sticking to it. That will affect the mass. So we got to find the mass first. So uh, you may recall, right? Remember our mnemonic, the heart cut in two, M on the top, V on the bottom. Always start off these problems by putting down what density is equal to. That shows me you know that. M on the top for mass. V on the bottom for volume. There we go. <clears throat> so, put down what information we gather. Now we need to find the mass. Again, I can't put this right on the triple beam balance because it will also have the mass of the container. So i got to find the mass of the container so I can subtract it out. So I'm going to use this empty container and find the mass that first. And that comes in at about 0.5. Eight. So the mass of the container right, the mass of the container plus the sand minus the mass of the container. So that's equal to the mass of the container, which I just said was 10.8. Oh, I'm putting this in the wrong place. The mass in the container is over here, 10.8 grams. I'm going to put down the mass of the container plus the sand in here and then subtract. So let's add the sand in. Okay. Now what do we got? Put that back to zero. It's more than 20, more than 30, more than 40, less than 50. Go back to 40. So it is 46.8, 46.8, put that up here, 46.8, and again the units, grams, and I'm subtracting grams, so my answer is going to be grams. So finally, the mass of the sand, 46.8 minus 10.8, I think I can do that in my head. 46.8 minus 10 would be 36.8. And then minus another 0.8 gives me 36. So I get 36 grams. There is the mass of the sand. Now, to find the volume of the sand, I need to put some water in my graduated cylinder. You got to read it. Put it on a horizontal surface, read it carefully, and that comes out to 57. Okay. So. This 
starting level is 57. The units in the graduated cylinder, milliliters. Now I'm going to put the sand in the graduated cylinder. So now we've got the sand and the water in the graduated cylinder. And I'm going to read that now. The sand brought the graduated, uh, the uh, level of the water in the graduated cylinder. to 70, 70 milliliters. When you're doing these problems, please write down all this information. That way I can give you credit. Even if you get a wrong answer in the end, I can give you some partial credit for doing it the right way. So the question is, how much did the water rise to go from 57 up to 70? Well, it's 3 to get up to 60 and another 10 to get up to 70. So 13 from 70 to 57. If you want to do the subtraction, you can do it this way. All right, 6, 1, 10 minus 7 is 3. 6 minus 5, 1. Okay? So water rose by 13 milliliters so the volume of the sand is 13 milliliters the sand made the water rise up that much so the mass of the sand 36 grams the volume 13 milliliters if I can squeeze in the calculation of the density over here. All right. Density equals M over V, mass over volume. The mass, 36 grams, over the volume, 13 milliliters. Six divided by thirteen, two point seven six nine two three zero oh seven. But do I care about those other, uh, all those decimal places? No, I only care about the first two. The six there tells me that the seven's going to go up to an eight, rounding to one tenth. We get 2.8. There are the units right there. 2.8 grams per milliliter. Don't forget the units. Please put a box around your answer when you do it. Okay, we get 2.8 grams per milliliter. That means it's more dense than water, which means when you put it into the water, it's going to sink. Right? There you go. Finding the density of an object that is irregular. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. Try again. Thank you very much for joining us here on Find That Density. Tune again. again. I'm going to cut this part off. I, I don't know what to say. There, I don't have any more episodes to come. I'm, I'm done.